First off, I would say you're amazing. Engineering is as much for you as it is for anybody else out there. And the second thing I would say is don't be afraid to create your own path. You didn't get here because of an accident, you got here because you worked hard and because you have all the skills necessary to do it. So believe in yourself and trust your judgment. You know, it's follow your passion and you'll be successful. You want to find a firm where you can continue to learn and um, be mentored and uh, grow and where the culture is the right fit and after that the sky's the limit. Is that you have the opportunity to define what it looks like um, and what that accessibility means. So we have a choice. We can either choose to adapt to this environment as it is today or we can push against it and expand the opportunities that women have and the, the number of role models that we have to look up to. And that's work and it's really hard, it's laborious. Um, but it's also at its core kind of the essence of what it means to be in leadership. Women engineers, including myself, are notorious for underselling themselves. Remember that you can bring unique abilities and perspectives to your organizations that your male counterparts cannot. We're very lucky at RJC to have great mentors, but at the end of the day, they won't know what you want unless you speak your mind and let them know. Uh, surround yourself with colleagues and people who you enjoy working with and who you enjoy spending a lot of time with. Uh, and don't be afraid to speak up. Don't be afraid to ask the obvious question because chances are other people are also wondering the same thing. Ultimately, focus. don't focus on being a female engineer, focus on being a great engineer.